on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with another toy room unboxing video and today we're going to be taking a look at the sega genesis mini i am very excited i've been waiting for this for quite a while and it is finally here before we do get into the unboxing i just want to give you guys a little heads up i am going to be live streaming gameplay of this tonight uh, i would say around 9 p.m eastern time by the time i upload this video there should already be a live stream reminder on my channel as well so look out for that but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the unboxing experience for the Sega Genesis Mini. So we're gonna start off by taking a look at the box. And this box is basically an exact replica of the original Sega Genesis box right here. And I love that whole uh, grid pattern design that they used. It just gives it that very retro look. And of course, it's what was on the original box. But you can see here, it says the Sega Genesis 16-bit video entertainment system, Sega Genesis Mini. You have the Sega seal of quality right there on the top corner. And then you can see it says, join the 16-bit revolution, Sega Genesis Mini. And then this is basically the exact image that they used with the original Sega Genesis. However, it only showed one controller in the original, whereas this shows two because this obviously comes with two controllers. And I always thought this little like flower background that they used was kind of weird, but uh, it's cool to see that they did replicate it for this box because again, this was on the original box. But yeah, it was just kind of weird that they always went like, I, I don't know if this is a flower in the background or what that is, but that was always kind of strange. You can see right here, it says Sega Genesis 30th anniversary, and you have this image of Sonic. It says include Sonic the Hedgehog, which again, that was on the original box. Um, now this wasn't on the original box, obviously, but the same style of detail was on the original box. So you can see it says miniature Sega Genesis replica, ready to plug and play includes 40 legendary games plus two bonus titles and they have it in some other languages right there and then coming to the side right here you basically get that same exact detail uh, except this shows you everything that comes in the package so you got the genesis mini console two wired controller pads usb power adapter power cable and hdmi cable and you get a little image of the actual console right there on this side you just get the logo with the console and sonic right there and then on the back you see all the games that come included which is just a great list of games I'll just pan through that for you guys really quickly so you can see that. I'm sure most of you already know all the games included by now, but for some reason, if you don't, there you go. And you can see right up here. All right, so that is it. So now let's go ahead and get into the unboxing experience. So you have this little tab right here on this top flap. So you go ahead, untab that, fold that back, fold this back and then we have everything included so let's go ahead and see what the first thing that we have here is and it is the controller so you get one controller you get like your little instruction manual whatever we don't care about that we're going to throw that to the side uh everything's starting to fall out here so i'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out while i have it here uh what else do we have and then it looks like the actual genesis is going to be in there so we'll look at that last i'll put that to the side so we do have this wrapper with the hdmi cable very, very nice. Always good to have HDMI cables included, so I'm not gonna bother unwrapping that, but I will throw that to the side. And then you do have the power cable, which is just a micro USB, but I'll take that out just to show you guys. Come on, it's kind of tucked in there. There we go. So you can see micro USB on the charging cable or the power cable, I should say. So we'll take that, put that to the side. And then this is the power brick that is included. It looks like it's just a plain generic power brick. Doesn't say Sega on it or anything. Would have been a nice little detail if it did say Sega. With the uh, NES Classic and whatnot, it does say Nintendo on it, but this just blank. So that's that. And then we'll take a look at the controllers here. So there we go. I'm only gonna open one of them because they're both gonna be identical. So we'll put this one to the side and we'll take a look at the controller right here. So you can see that very, very nice. I love the detailing right here with the red on the uh, the letters as well as the arrows right there. Looks very, very nice. Feels just like an original Sega Genesis controller. Feels very nice. The buttons, yep, those are the Sega Genesis buttons that I do remember. So that feels very, very nice. And coming to the back right here, you can see it says Sega right there. And then you have the cable and it connects via USB. So very, very nice right there. Man, that is a beautiful, beautiful controller. Does suck that it wasn't the six button layout that we got and it was the three button layout, but still for the majority of the games on there, this will definitely suffice. Uh, the only one you're gonna run into an issue to, or issue with, I should say, is uh, Street Fighter. You're gonna wish you had the six button layout, but 
this is still a very, very nice controller. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. And then we'll come back to the box here and try and find the Genesis. Okay, so it's a separate cardboard box inside of the box right there. So we'll go ahead and take that out. And there is the system. So it comes in this nice protective wrapper right here. So we'll take that out, put that to the side. And then you do have this clear film Oh man, that's always so satisfying. I love taking off the clear film. And then here is a Sega Genesis. And man, this thing is super light. Uh, basically, it, if you're familiar with the NES Classic or the Super Nintendo Classic, it's gonna be the exact same, like, basically dimensions and feel of it and whatnot. But man, this is just absolutely beautiful. The only thing that's throwing me off is this purple color here. And I don't remember it being purple for some reason. I'll take a look at my original Genesis in a second and we'll do a comparison. But yeah, that's throwing me off. It, it could just be me and my memory, but I don't remember this being purple. Uh, but we'll take a look here. You can see 16-bit Sega Genesis. And that's funny. So the, um, the cartridge door actually works. There's nothing in here. I'm actually touching the bottom right here. Uh, it's just plastic that you feel down here. There's nothing in there, but the fact that it actually works, that is a very, very nice attention to detail. So very nice there. And then you have the switches here actually do move and function as well. So that's going to be the on and off switch. And then this would be the volume switch. I don't believe this actually functions for anything, but it's just there. And then you have the reset switch right there. And then coming to the side here, you can see that detail. And you see the controller ports right there. And it even has a nice red, or I don't know if it's going to be red, I would imagine it's red once you power it on, but LED right there, indicator for when the power is on. And you have that on the back right here, you can see the HDMI logo, and the ports for the HDMI and the power, and then the bottom, all of that right there. So that is very nice, and you even have, uh, I think this was like the expansion port or something, you could uh, add a add-on on on the original Sega Genesis. Obviously this does not oh! You know what? It does function for something. Look at that. Let me see. Oh no. So there's not actually anything in there. I was surprised this even came off and it's it's meant to. It has a little tab and everything, but there's not actually anything here. But I, I believe on the original Sega Genesis, this is where you can add something, like some sort of add-on or something. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. So they actually went ahead that that was uh very surprising i wasn't expecting that let's see if i can get that back in there okay there we go so as i was saying they actually went through the trouble of adding the removable piece and sculpting it in there but there's not actually anything in there but that's still really great attention to detail man they are knocking it out of the park with this man so without further ado let me go ahead and bring in the original sega genesis for a comparison okay and here is the original sega genesis model one and yeah just as i thought on mine, this is red, so I don't know why this one's purple. Maybe you guys could let me know if this was from a different region or something like that. But yeah, mine is red here. Uh, I don't know if there was ever a time when maybe um, this was purple and they changed it. But as far as I've always been familiar with, uh, it's always been red. But as you can see, the size comparison, I mean, the mini is basically the size of just the little circle piece right here on the original Genesis here. So what a huge difference. But you can see all the details are going to be exactly the same. Minus that one color variation that I mentioned. But you got the volume switches here. Uh, the power switches right here. And then the reset button here. Uh, so everything is uh, obviously going to be a lot more clickier. And I guess newer feeling on the newer model. Because obviously this is what like 30 years old now or 20 years old, how, however long it's been. So, uh, and here is the original, I gotta move the camera back because this thing is so massive. Here's the original port right here. So let's see if we can take that out. Just so you can see, it says, um, do not remove here. So I don't know if this was like the RAM or whatever, but you can see like the motherboard and all that in here on the original one. And like I said, so where is it here on the mini? Let me take that one off. So you can see that they went through the trouble of, you know, making the piece and sculpting it and everything. But there is the comparison right there. So you can see that. So that is just a very, very nice detail. So let me put all so this another together. Another thing I did want to compare it to is this uh, USB charging hub that I have. I got this a couple of years ago. I did a review on the channel, but basically it's just a USB charging station. So you plug this into a power source and then you can plug four devices in and charge them at once. And it's modeled after the Sega Genesis. So as far as the size and everything, it's actually pretty 
uh, pretty on point and accurate uh, to the Mini. Uh, the Mini is obviously going to be just a bit wider, a bit thicker, but they're pretty much almost the same size. Uh, all the ports on here, as far as like the power and everything, and the reset button, all the all the buttons and stuff work exactly the same. Uh, this is red though as far as this one being purple i still don't understand why uh, i'm gonna look it up uh, in a second to, to find out why this is purple instead of red but yeah my memory always just i've always seen it red so this is really bugging me out i'm gonna see if maybe there's a, a sticker i can get to replace this uh, i just think it would look better it matches all the buttons on the controller as well as the console but yeah just wanted to compare that really quickly so you guys can see that comparison as well all right you guys so there's my unboxing of the sega genesis mini and just right off the bat i, I still have I haven't even powered this thing up yet but just as far as the unboxing experience and just the quality and craftsmanship and first impressions of this uh, mini console this clone console i am blown away the, the amount of detail that they put into this was just amazing it, everything the button placements the uh the working cartridge door to the un underneath the that uh port that you have access to the fact that they went in and sculpted it and made it a removable piece it's just really, really great attention to detail. The controller feels great. Everything feels really nice. I'm just really blown away with the quality of this system. And like I said earlier, guys, just a reminder, I will be live streaming tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you have the notifications on, your reminders set, the alarms on your phone. We will be live streaming some gameplay, menu, tutorials, and just whatever else you guys want to see. And I will be answering any questions that you guys may have about this system or just anything else in general. So make sure you guys come through. We'll talk. We'll chop it up. We'll have a good time for about an hour or so. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that links in the description down below and hopefully i'll see some of you guys tonight in the live stream so i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time